he is a talented right back and could come use for the future Moroccan national team. Hello everyone and welcome back to my channel. I hope you're all having a fantastic day. So today I wanted to give an insight on a Moroccan player that I sometimes feel Moroccan fans overlook a bit and that is none other than Omar El Hilali, a young right back who has currently been having a good season with Espanyol in the Segunda Division. But who is he exactly and why do I think that he could be a viable option for the national team in the future? Well, I'll go ahead and answer that. But before I do that, as always, don't forget to like and subscribe as it does help promote my channel to an audience looking to learn more about Moroccan football. But with that being said, let's go ahead and begin. Born on September 12, 2003, in the Catalan province of Barcelona, he was raised into a Moroccan family with Tangier roots. Having grown a fawn for the beautiful game, he would start off his football career at his local hometown club CF Santa Elialia. There he would be able to hone his skill and ultimately create a reputation for himself as one of the young rising talents to come out of the club. It was there that a lot of clubs started to recognize his talent and ultimately come calling with the likes of FC Barcelona and RCD Espanyol calling for his name. It wasn't until later in time that he took a long decision and ultimately decided to join RCD Espanyol as he knew he would be able to fully mature his game and hopefully get more game time going forward. While he has already become a regular starter with the reserve team in Segunda B, he would go on to make his debut for the first team at just 17 years old on April 4th, 2021, replacing an injured Oscar Gill in the 50 minutes of a 3-0 victory against Alvesate Baliompi in the second division championship. He was thus part of the team which won the Segunda Division returning directly to La Liga after a single season at lower level. Now here's where things started to take a turn. Following the return to La Liga, he would train with the first team, but being in a position that had a lot of competition for him, he found it difficult to be able to break into the first team. Ultimately, the coach would go on to decide that he should return back to the reserve and continue to train for them as he continued to mature. And though he did that, he was still excelling that at times it even made it difficult for the coach to leave him in the reserve side as he knew El Halali was a special talent that shouldn't be waiting and just be playing with the lower league team. So to ensure that he would remain and still have the trust of Omar El Halali, the team took it upon itself to discuss a new potential contract that would keep him until 2025 that would also include a 6 million euro release clause. And ever since that faithful moment, the coach has since then entrusted him at being the starting right back for RC the Espanol, a move that has shown great dividends for the coach as well as the club as he has single-handedly made that position his own, coming off remarkable performances back to back and definitely getting praised by RCD Espanol that it has even prompted FC Barcelona, a team who was interested in him when he was a young kid to come back and call and hopefully sign for him in the following future. And as of to this day, El Halali really hasn't touched much about it, but he hasn't left the door closed of the possibility of leaving in the future for a bigger club. And he, as he continues to mature, it has raised a lot of competition in that a lot of the clubs were still vying for him and it wasn't just Barcelona this time. But it's not just club level that he has gained a lot of attention. It is also international where both Spain and Morocco were vying for his signature. And here is where things really started to turn for El Halali. As on October 7, 2020, 
he was selected to be a part of the Morocco under-20 team for a double-friendly match against Mauritania at the Mohammed VI Complex. He then would go on to take part in the UNAF tournament with the Morocco under-20 team and at the end of the 2020, which he would go on to help the Moroccan side qualify for the Junior African Cup of Nation, thus being an integral part and growing with the young Moroccan Atlas line, thus taking his game to the next level where next step in his journey, he would be called up for the 2021 African Cup of Nation, playing the along the likes of Zacharias Galean and Haitam Abeyeda where the Moroccans would go on to reach the quarterfinal and although mentioned as a potential next call up he has been getting still scouted by the Spanish junior selection but nevertheless he is still integrated into the Moroccan national team as he has shown that he has a huge appreciation for the Moroccan team and would go on to continue by later on receiving another call up with the under 20 team this time playing against the England under 20 as well as Chile 20 but here is where things start to be a huge changing point for him as the most pivotal point to his career came when he was selected by Issam Sharai who is the Moroccan under 23 coach for the African Cup of Nation, where Morocco would go on to win the whole tournament and definitely be crowned as one of the champions and one of the most notable players of the tournament. Following that tournament, it got a little tricky in that although he was still having a great season for Espanol, he wasn't getting call-ups as usual as he would like prompting many fans to question whether this was a tactical decision or in regards to him possibly being interested in representing Spain for the foreseeable future. And though he was originally listed in Walid Regraoui's 55-man player list for the African Cup of Nation that took place in Ivory Coast, he ultimately was left out. And to this day, he still hasn't gotten a call-up but anything can change from now until the foreseeable future. So there you have it. This is an overall insight into who is Omar El Halali and the type of player that he started from when he was a kid to where he is right now. Overall, he is a talented right back and could come use for the future Moroccan national team. But similar to a story where he was facing competition with RCD Espanol for that specific position, it's kind of the same story with the national team because you got the likes of Ashraf Hakimi, undoubtedly the best right back for the national team and as well as the world. So of course, it's going to be a huge hurdle for him to be able to get, you know, a starting call up. And of course, there is also the likes of Zakaria Eluwari, who has been having a phenomenal season with Gang. So he is very much in a competition loop. But I feel that he has everything in his locker to possibly make his way into the senior national team in the future. And that's something that I hope for him. He is a talented player that deserves more recognition. It's kind of a shame that the under 23 national team has kind of neglected him for some time now so i'm hoping during the march camp he will get a call up and we could see him again very much with the red jersey but of course i would love to hear your thoughts and opinion about the matter do you rate omar el halali or do you think that he's just an average right back that probably won't see much of the national team apart from the under 23 national team I'd love to hear your thoughts and opinion, but more importantly, I'm just glad that you all made it to the end of this video. And as always, don't forget to like and subscribe, and I will see you all in the next one. Take care, everybody.